Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Chemical Edda. So, today's question is. What is the difference between the packed tower and tray tower? So, a packed column is a cylindrical column. That is filled with packing material. Like Rishig rings, ball rings, burl saddles and talox saddles. A tray tower is a cylindrical column that consists of various types of trays like bubble cap plates, sieve plates and valve plate. The packed column provides continuous contact between the vapor and liquid phases throughout the length of the contactor. Plate columns provide stage-wise contact between the phases at a number of discrete stages. In packed columns, packings work as the gas liquid contacting device. Whereas in plate columns, plates work as gas liquid containing devices. In a packed tower, the liquid holdup is considerably low. Hence the pressure drop through a packed tower is usually low. I plate column liquid hold is more. Hence pressure drop is high. Packed towers used for handling heat sensitive liquids. Where liquid deterioration might occur with high temperatures. Plate towers are preferred when large temperature changes are involved. As in distillation if we use a packed tower. Thermal expansion or contraction of the equipment component may crush the packing. As the pressure drop through a packed tower is usually low. Which makes the packed tower particularly desirable for vacuum distillation operations. Packed towers may be more economical than plate towers when highly corrosive fluids are to be handled because of corrosion resistant ceramic or plastic packings plate columns operate over a wide range of liquid flow rates without flooding high values of liquid gas ratio are best handled in packed towers in a packed tower difficulties arise in the dispersion of liquid hence a plate tower is more reliable and needs fewer safety factors at the low liquid to gas mass velocity ratios. In plate columns, by repeatedly mixing and separating provide more positive contact between fluid phases, whereas packed columns may lead to back mixing or bypassing. Side streams are very easily taken out from plate towers. For plate towers, Design information is generally more readily available. And it is more reliable than it is for packed towers. Plate towers should be preferred. When liquid mixtures containing dispersed solids are to be handled. As cleaning the plate is very easy. Plate towers are preferred. Whenever an intermediate cooling arrangement is required. To remove the heat of a solution or reaction. Cooling coils are easily incorporated into plate towers. For liquids having a tendency to foam, packed towers are usually preferred. For a given duty, the total weight of a dry plate tower is normally less than the weight of a packed tower. But the weight of both towers is approximately the same. If the liquid the holdup in the plate tower during the operation is taken into account, for a column diameter of more than 1200 mm. Packed towers are seldom designed. And for a column diameter less than 600 mm. Packings are cheaper than plates. So, if you like my video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Chemical Edda.